What's up everybody, this is Jeremy. Um, today I'm going to be showing you guys an application called Renamer for Mac. Um, it's it's uh, made by Dare to be Creative. <clears throat> it's a really cool way to rename files. Um, this is especially useful if you have a camera that imports all of your files with like the same, the same uh, image name every time you upload and it just adds a number to the end. This is a cool way to do it to where like you can uh, you can change it to like Halloween space whatever and then add numbers and stuff like that uh, which is my main reason for wanting this application is mostly for uh, uploading images from your camera and stuff like that but uh, it can rename any kind of files as far as I know um, I'll go ahead and show you up here in the menu bar first real quick about renamer for Mac um, then you got your preferences you can buy and then here's where you will enter your information once you buy. You can have a check for updates, uh, which I have the newest one. Um, go into the preferences really quick. You can have a log file. Uh, you can have a finder plugin. You can have it installed just for you or uh, for all users and you can uninstall here and it'll automatically restart the finder afterwards. Then you got you have your general preferences here. You can ask before renaming files just to make sure that you are getting it named exactly what you want. Uh, you can have it automatically check for updates. I'm guessing this is when you first open the application, which I do for all applications. Um, you can empty the file list before adding new files, which would be right down here, which is where all your files are going to be located once you add them here. Um, then you've got your path and your renaming, this, the different ways that you can rename. Uh, we go up in, into the file menu and you've got empty list or add and remove files. Your basic edit um, view, you can view the different columns. You can hide the toolbar, which is this up here at the very top. But you can actually hide this by clicking up in the right hand corner as well. And you have customized toolbar where you can put whatever buttons you want in there. There aren't really that many, but there aren't really that many needed. Uh, you can change the size and you can have it list uh, just the icon or just the text or both um, which I haven't set too small with the icon and text um, then you've your basic window and then you've got help the help file and the license agreement so I've got some files over here which I'll show you guys in the uh, preview real quick these are just Call of Duty scores that I've taken pictures of with my phone um, so I'm going to drag these over into here you can do it that way where you can click the add button and actually go in and add them however you want to do that. You can actually have it search for and replace. Uh, so where the files are all photo, photo one, photo two, um, you can go in just type photo and it'll actually replace that with Call of Duty 4. Uh, and then it's got the numbers at the end so you can actually space that and then it'll actually put a space between the Call of Duty and the numbers. Um, you can have it do the uh, name only the name and extension or the extension only and you can make it case sensitive stuff like that um, you can insert and overwrite or overwrite with uh, the different text you can move from position right or left however many positions you want um, you can move remove so if you say what remove one from left it'll actually remove the P from photo uh, you can change that to two and it deletes the first two however you want to do that uh, this is more of what I use right here is with the numbering. You can have it changed, you can have it labeled as Call of Duty 4, and then the text format that it'll actually save the file as. You can do it many, many different ways here. You can do the number, uh, then the label. You can do the label, then the number, which is what I do. You can do the number, the uh, label, and the old name. Uh, the old name, the label, and the number, which I do, like I said, the label, then the number. And you can start at whatever number you want, and you can continue numbering. Uh, you can set up the numbering differently. You can do it as like one, two, three. Uh, you can start it down as zero, one, zero, two, uh, zero, zero, one, zero, zero. Um, you can do letters. You can do all kinds of different things here. But I, I, I tend to go with the four uh, numbers, starting with all zeros and then one. Um, you can convert the cases. You can convert it to uppercase, you can convert it to lowercase, you can capitalize the first letter. You can do this with the name only, the name and the extension, or you can do just the extension. Say you want to make it uh, all uppercase for the extension. However you want to do that. So it's a really, really useful application. It's really, really easy to use. 
Um, if you have a lot of pictures or any kind of files that you need to rename, uh, this is a much, much quicker, easier way to do that than to go through and actually uh, have to go in and rename each one of those individually. It's just it's really, really easy and simple to use. Like I said, three pictures took probably a half second just now to rename. So uh, it's a very useful, useful application. Um, the pricing on it, I always forget to check this right before I do my videos. I, I always have it in my head and then I go to do the videos and I've already forgotten the price. But I will post that in the uh, description so you guys know that in advance. But I would definitely recommend this to anybody that has a lot of files that they need renamed because it's very easy to use, very simple, and there's a lot of little options to where you can make it exactly how you want. So definitely try this out and let me know what you guys think. Thanks.